Hello all, Mike Logan. Um, rainy Wednesday afternoon in Rockford, Illinois. Uh, my website is Ask Mike the Counselor too. I wanted to do a quick little video today about uh, a page I put up this morning, AskMikeTheCounselor2.com, Exercise Over 60. Um, exercise Over 60 is extremely important for what's inside of here. Uh, you know, not over the years, the last three or four years, I've begun to notice uh, you know, there are times when I can't pull up just the word that I want. I'm a counselor, I'm working with clients. Uh, nuances and subtlety are part of that work and hearing and um, teaching, finding just the right word. And it, it, it's bothersome to not be able to do that, find just the right word at the right time. And it's a signal to me that I am beginning to experience some of the things uh, that happen to when you get to be 61. Okay. Um, and of course the fear way down underneath all of that is, is that uh, I'm developing Alzheimer's and uh, pretty soon I'll be in the home and uh, won't have any memories of the incredible life that I've had or my children, or my wife, my family, my business, all of the things that have gone into my life. So there's a real fear there. Okay. And of course I've been intrigued and in reading about brain fitness now for a couple of years. I found some really great books. Uh, Norman Doidge, the, the Brain That Changes Itself, Sharon Begley, Train Your, Train Your Mind, Change Your Brain, is I, I believe the title of her books, and there's one of those <laughs> senior moments. Okay, excellent, excellent books about neuroplasticity and neurogenesis. And of course there are lots of uh, computerized brain fitness programs on the market now. And I'm using some of them and the Posit Science Brain Fitness Program has made a difference in word recall for me. Uh, but the thing, most of brain fitness uh, at any time in your life, but especially for us at my age and older, the impact study evaluating the Posit Science Program was done with people 65 and older, I believe. And it showed wonderful results, and we, I've seen some good comments about the design and the research, too. Okay, so one of, there are four pillars of brain health, and the primary pillar, the most important thing you can do to maintain your brain, grow new brain cells, which is called neurogenesis, and keep it very plastic so that you are making new neurons or making new connections all the time is physical exercise. You gotta work out. Okay, now does that mean you have to go to, uh, the, to the YMCA, which is where I go, and head into the weight room and toss around barbells with the uh, younger folks? Well, no you don't. And what you need to be able to do, and you can certainly do bodybuilding and uh, weightlifting, and there are some very heavy, very strong power lifters my age and older, and there are some gentlemen there who are in their 80s who are swimming and walking and taking care of their neurogenesis and brain fitness. In fact, Ray is a Green Bay Packer fan, and he has a cheery smile for everybody every day, and a comment or two about where Brett Favre may end up this year. So it's very possible to stay alive and vibrant and functioning if you take care of your brain, and a key piece of that is working out. You need to be able to do aerobic exercise, uh, and strength training is not bad, but the deeper breathing is what's really been shown to help our brain stay fit through um, the golden years, I guess you would call them, senior years. Um, I have a five-year-old daughter. I want my brain to be uh, alive and vibrant until perhaps I'm holding grandkids and that may be a couple of decades away, so it could be 81 before I'm a grandpa. You know, give her some time to get through college, and graduate school, and get started in a career before we have grandchildren. children. Okay, so I've got a lot of working out to do, and I, I enjoy that. I really enjoy working out. Physical exercise is the most important uh, lifestyle choice you could make in regards to brain fitness, and then of course there's nutrition and sleep and stress management, and you got to get some omega-3 fatty acids up here. Your neurons are mostly omega-3s. Okay, so get to the gym, walk, um, exercise, uh, use an elliptical trainer or a stairmaster, check with your doctor when you're my age, but make sure you get exercise every day. Um, park further from the shop at the shopping mall, take the steps instead of the elevator. 
all of those things can be helpful in sustaining and maintaining your brain fitness. And that's all for today. Thank you very much, folks. Mike Logan, that's Mike the Counselor too. Dot com.